Good morning guys, how are you? Hope you're doing well. We're gonna go over today's trade review here on Facebook. So I wanna just run, with, run through with you my process for this morning as to what I was looking for and what I thought was most likely in the markets. So we had another gap down open today and generally my bias was bullish. My bias was we're getting towards an area where there might not be a lot of people willing to sell down here anymore. So there might be a shift, a temporary shift in direction. So I was generally having a bullish bias going into the morning and I was in fact paying attention to some names that were stronger versus the market like Netflix, for example. If you look at Netflix, how you can see we, we maintained that hourly uptrend yesterday while SPY was making a lower low, okay? So those things are notable. Now, I was definitely watching the volatility index. So here's two things. Number one, I had a bullish bias. Number two, volatility is high and I'm expecting it to eventually top out. So those two things combined, for me as an options trader, I go to selling options not buying options because when the vix drops those premiums drop a lot so ideally what you want to see is exactly what we saw on facebook this morning so let's go over that real quick so what we saw initially was a move lower and i'm watching facebook but also watching the broad market at the same time here i'm going to move myself over so we're looking for a attempt to move lower and then a failure. So that's exactly what we got here. If you look, you'll see that that's what we got. We broke below 190 and then we saw a huge pop up from there. And this is the point right here where the option premiums were the most overpriced, okay? So that's pretty much why I entered the trade. If I show you my trade here on my platform, you can see I entered at 9 49 just to show you proof there 949 on Facebook is where I entered the trade which was practically near the lows here so I basically I sold two credit spreads at that point the 190 puts and the one I bought the 18750 puts to create a credit spread I sold them for $86 a spread they were extremely overpriced at that point and those spreads are expiring tomorrow all right guys now just to let you know this info I'm giving you here is info that some guys charge thousands of dollars to tell you. They tell you about how to sell options for income and all that stuff. Guys, all of it is public knowledge. You just have to do your own digging. Don't spend five grand on a course to trade options when you can learn it yourself the hard way, okay? So that's just my approach on it. Anyway, so I sold the premium here, very expensive, and then we saw a huge move up. And I, basically, I was watching 192 at that point. I saw after this move, I was watching 192 to see if that was going to hold. And generally, SPY was still weak. The volatility index was still popping in the morning a little bit. And SPY was weak. Qs were weak. Everything was weak. The financial sector was making lower lows up until past 10 o'clock, I think. I was watching Facebook hold 192 for all this time and it was very bullish. If you look at what SPY did at that moment, it was kind of making lower lows, I think. So from from 956, let's see here. Let's let's take a look. You could see here SPY had that low and then we broke the low after 10 a.m. We broke the low of the day and we got a flush here while Facebook at that time was not in fact flushing. You can see at 1020, Facebook was still holding 192. So that's a bullish signal right there. So we came down here, this was our lows, 191.50. And even if volatility was still rising there because the market was still kind of weak, you could see that Facebook was holding pretty well. So at this point, I was watching this mini sell-off, 191, and this was pretty much the peak of the move in SPY right here from, from around 10.30. That was the peak of the move. Yeah, you can see the low of the day was hit at 1030 ish that was it at this point i said okay if 191 doesn't hold i'm gonna i'm gonna watch 191 i'm not gonna panic when 191 hits because i'm in a type of position that profits from the passing of time and from the dropping of volatility all right so any move up these premiums are gonna get killed that's the thing now obviously if the if the thing just keeps going down and down and down the premiums are gonna explode so that's a different thing so you have to really be aware of these types of things when you're trading options, okay? So once it was hitting 191, I was watching. I said, 191, I am going to watch what's going to happen here. I'm not gonna panic. And as you can see, it, it held 191 pretty aggressively and then aggressively got back above 192, consolidated for a higher low and then it broke out and that was it. Okay, after that, the market shifted direction. We got that shakeout and then that was it. So as you can see, these puts, I, I sold them at 86 here. They went all the way to 
they were trading around $30 after that. After you can see here, look at what volatility did once Facebook started breaking out above those highs. Volatility started dropping off considerably until we finally lost this uptrend, okay? So basically, I took profit somewhere around here. I took half, half the position at 1108, which was approximately here. Then I took off the last of the position once we lost the uptrend. So I was watching 194 at that point because you can see here this trend. Now this this chart is pretty much the same as the SPY, the Qs, and the XLF. All of them look pretty much the same. So I was basically watching the broad market. If we were going to lose the short-term uptrend, I was going to cut the rest of the trade for and take my profits and that's it. Okay, and as you can see, that is what happened. You can see once we lost 194, we retested a little bit and then broke to a lower low. And I said, I'm out, took the rest off at 1130. And that was, and you can see that we did get some follow through to the downside. So it's not worth holding on to that trade because there's more uncertainty at this point. Why would I hold on to a trade that is showing me uncertainty? I want to lock in my profits and that's it. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this trade review and I wish you a great day. Here it's snowing and have a nice one. Take care. Bye. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Take care.